Can the Italians open the door, find a way back into the game? They've absorbed a lot of pressure in this first half. Negri, the carrier. Here is Brilli now. Paledri up comes the free roaming Dupont. Oh, this should be a try. Must be a try. And the Italian score through Matteo Menotti. Will it last a little bit of mood music for the Italians? Waits to go. Go, he does. It's held close to that gain line. Now it's Tuivati held on his back, is he? Andrew Brace is in there. The ball comes back, though, for the recycle for the Italians. French trying to block the base of the post, and they can't do it. They're not able to get there in time. And the Italians bounce. You could see Aldrich. He could see where the danger was coming from, but he was not able to prevent that second Italian try. And great work from Zani. Zani, it's so into the final 30 seconds here. And it's consolation time now for the. Oh, what an offload by Lakata. And here is Jaden Hayward. Hayward going himself, support on the outside. And the Azzurri finish with a try from Mattia Bellini. And they deserve every bit of that because they have never stopped trying, they have never stopped working. A lot of talk about Georgia coming in the Six Nations. It? It'll be very interesting as Nash, you know, the, the cap that's coming up. Oh, intercepts! And a lifeline thrown to the Italians as Padovani will scamper home, read it beautifully. <laughs> Nobody in the backfield for Ireland, and Italy have their first try. Mbanda, Braley, Garbisi, and there's a little gap there, and Garbisi's through it, and off he goes. And Ireland are going to get sucker punched in the end, and Garbisi on debut. The young man is in for the try. Very sharp right, right. from the Saracens lot. Lots of sharp there from Sinclair, and here's Canner again. Paledri, Paledri inside the 22. Can anyone stop him? What a try! Jake Paledri. Well, my word. I think the referee signaling that's perfectly good. There was a hot potato going around all over the place, but I mean, that boy can finish. Canoni. No 20. Pass the ruck. Good luck. Thank you. Powerful run there from Zenon. Zenon got support alongside from Violi. Violi on to Bellini. Bellini on to Minozzi. Spectacular from Italy. Absolutely brilliant from the Italians. I think it was Zenon, wasn't it? Just bumping off Duncan Weir. It's their ability to keep the ball alive. There were two or three times where I thought the ball was going to die. And that offload from Bellini at the end. Cut away quicker, please. No attempt. Eight. Advantage. Chalonche has been pinged. Free play for Italy. Zanon, good leg drive. Violi looking down that left flank. Little show and go. Garbisi gets the offload. And suddenly Canner is there. We've had to wait 25 minutes for a try, but it was a good try with the two playmakers combining for the visitors and Italy get themselves in front. You almost feel like France switched off then. And it's for Italy marked by the intermediary of number 12, Carlo Cana. Behind the post, turn number 8. Johan Mayer. The line-out choice there from Luca Bici. Trying to get some momentum here at the Italians, but at the moment, they're just grabbing sideways. Luca Bici at the moment doesn't want to release it to Varney. He has now. A little poke through from Kanna, and a wonderfully worked try. 
And it's that man, Marco Zerno. What creativity there by the Italians. That's what you want to see, reactive play. Marco Zano, he has been the top line breaker for Italy. He's so fast, knew exactly where that ball was going. Out sprinted everybody, was never in doubt. Varney's in position. On to Fischetti. Sperandio got Mayer outside, and here goes Mayer. Mayer gets past the win, and Mayer then gets through Johan Lloyd. What a try from Italy. What a team try. Unbelievable. See, Italy will live off scrappy play. They want to play open rugby. They stretch Wales wing to wing. Knocked forward, was it? Yep. Referee didn't seem to see it or didn't want to call it. Got a BC Cana. Trulla. Sperandio, little chip over the top from Sperandio, and is he going to finish it? Oh, that's a wonderful right, individual it. effort from the winger. Great try, Lucas Sperandio. Better than man, scores Italy's try, and surely no one's going to rule this one out. Is there a knock forward there? Um, Clearly off the foot. Off the foot. Thank you. Is happy the job. decision, so we will have Yeah, happy, man. Matt Carley wouldn't be getting his pizza tonight if he disallowed that one. He has to stay with this group of players because they can perform like that. England play in a stifling tactical cul-de-sac. Heads down, not heads up rugby. And the Italians looking to play heads up rugby themselves in this first couple of minutes at Twickenham. Support from Riccioni. And there's an offside here. This is what England did against Scotland. They gave away a whole raft of penalties in the opening few minutes. And that's their second one already. And there's a chance at the outside for Monte Ioane. Oh, what a blistering beginning by the Italians. Absolutely incredible start from it from Italy. Gabrisi straight across there. Ioane not stopping him from there. England at sixes and sevens. And what a brilliant try from Italy. They've come here to play with this young side. Here is Varney getting some spaces, Varney. Oh, that's brilliant from Morley. What an offload. What a try by the Italians. Scored by Tommaso Allen. Well, the replacements came thundering into the game with some nuclear attacking for Italy. Mark. Referee says it's there and the Italians can play it. Lazzaroni plays scrum half, but they've gone, what, four metres back from where they started. David Sisi, Ringrose and Henshaw combined to put him to ground. Garbisi caught him at the pass, holds on to it and then lets it go and it's Mayer. Terrific try, just what the Italians needed. Johan Mayer in at the death of the first half and Italy do have something to go to the changing room and think about ahead of the second half. Well done, Italy. Again, I was impressed with your creativity and your heart showing a twickening, even though you're on the wrong side. And the Italians Make the get dirty ball, but at least they get the ball, uh, Varney. And God, BC will go back in the direction that they came. Monte Ioani, little bit of room. Mayer shrugs off the first attempt to tackle of Gareth Davis and a bit of forward momentum around the corner comes Fischetti who's had advantage. a couple of moments in the last minute or two. It's advantage for Italy and an opportunity to free play. What about that? Monte Ioanni! Oh, Sorry, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Advantage. It's got to come off the ball, please, man. That was all about individual excellence. Excellent from Monte Ioanni. Playing advantage. Brilliant chip. And when it's that close to the line, any sort of bounce, control of the ball. A wonderful piece of individual skill. Blue stay, why stay? 11, no. Luca Bici wearing the back. mantle back. of captain, finding no, no, Federico Russo in the centre of that Italian liner. No. And this is working nicely for the Italians. Bigi has the ball, you can see him there with a the headgear, and he's in the corner. 
Luca Vigi. What a start for Italy. We have invented it. We have invented for collapse. Yeah. yeah. Luca Vigi drives the line. And you can tell that is try time, his left hand Pascal, above yeah, the ground there. You. It's a dream start for Italy, Sorry. a try. Good tackling from Lavanini, shutting the gate very quickly. But the, it's Negri who gets through, Negri trying to take the direct route to market. Here come Italy again, Morisi almost but not quite. Defiant Puma's defence, holding out, but Italy banging at the door. The fans trying to make their voices count. A little dab around the side, and it's over. I think it's Varney. Yes, a little Gloucester scrum half, Stephen Varney. Well, that's what. His team needed good work, good snipe from the number nine. Big ball, first part is in place. BG comes round to collect. The forwards get the leg drive on. Uruguay desperately trying to dismantle it. Same ball calls the officials. The, again, the arm goes up in favour of the Azuri. Huge numbers out to the right, Pierre Bruno cuts back in and Bruno scores on his debut. He repeats the feat for the main team this afternoon here in Parma and Italy are on the board. The line-out works, no question about that. As Fova comes round to drive them all, the crowd urging their team forward. Desperate for a second try and they're going to get it but the referee's whistle's gone, not going to count. Take a look at the referee's whistle. Well, these things haven't been going well for the first 50 or so minutes. And he's just given that perfect try, perfect grounding. Uruguay coming round the corner. We have to watch themselves because Inciata got uh, Sinbin for exactly the same. That was Negri right at the back. Good safe pair of hands. Use it. Very experienced player, Negri. Off goes Varney. His turn to box kick. And underneath it's Jamine. He's dropped that though. It's not forward by Jamine. Away goes Ruzza. Can the Italians get the first try on the board here? Varney using that ball, pummeling towards that French line. This is an opportunity for Italy. Garbisi, who's underneath it. It's going to be a try. And it's Manicello on his test debut. Brilliant by the Italians. I think it's whether the flag, you can knock the flag down as long as your legs aren't out. That was the turnover. Rutzer yeah, does well, doesn't he? Off he goes. Straight between the two. Panic stations for France. Ball comes out. Gabrisi thinks it's the kit pass it is. Now let's look. I think that's a try. You can knock the post. Set. On either side of Garbisi, and he goes to where the two are, and they go the other way to Paravani. Is it going to work out for the Italians? And here is Bruno, tries to smash his way through. What an offload inside that was to Callum Brilli. It came off the strike, obviously down that wing. Stuart Hogg goes a little bit too high there. I thought he might have managed to get him into touch. Look at him on the tiptoes. Bruno has done it outstandingly well. Sam Johnson had committed. It looks okay. Really is over. Italy have their score. First phase attacking play from that centre field scrum. I mentioned it before the scrum itself. And they have capitalised. It will really frustrate Scotland's defence. Let's go. Look again. Hamish Watson getting over that ball. Does he get the clamp in? Not quite. Fusco. Chance on the outside here. That inside ball is beautiful. And there's the footwork we told you to look out for. Angie Cupoazzo on his debut for Italy. He's been doing it all season for Grenoble. Go and watch his highlights tape. He is quite something. Proper baby-faced assassin. And on this occasion here, Brex gives him the ball. Gets the ball into the wide channel early. Okay. And from no, there... You. You just see the footwork from Cabo. What's that? 
for score once more. And it's the little fella again, Cavuzzo gets support from Lamaro. Here's Gorbisi. This is good rugby. Federico Ruzza, Magnus Bradbury with a tackle. Stuart Hogg has to help him. For score is Cavuzzo going to get another one. Oh, can you believe that? On his debut, the 22-year-old. Diminutive to say the least. But heavens above, can he finish? And he's in the right place at the right time again. Look at the work done by Rutsa through the middle of that Scottish defence, putting him under all sorts of pressure. But again, it's that step, just takes out the Scottish defence. Caravani. Capuzzo. Welsh defenders up very fast indeed. Off goes the whippet, and he's through. Capuzzo is through. He might be away here. Oh, Capuzzo! And he gets support from Paravani. The Romans on the rampage. Have they found the gladiator within at last to end this horrific run of Six Nations defeats? And what a way to end it. Absolutely backs himself on the outside edge. He's completely running away from the support at this moment, so he has to make it work. A beautiful in and out, and still has the composure to put that pass in, which is crucially important, because they've got to try and score under the post to secure that conversion. Fa la differenza. Va vinta prima di tutto. Qui non si capiscono, meno male. Sì, e poi la molla. Spinge via Pettinelli, il numero 8 Scimo, esce ma l'Italia poco alla volta, passo dopo passo, avanza in avanzamento, Fusco toglie il pallone, arriva Brexa, gasso aperto, non trova la via della meta, però con calma. No, no, c'è il vantaggio ancora, Francesco, sì. solo che eh, tira da fuori. Fusco disturbato, Fusco bravo, bravo. risolve, bravo. Alessandro Fusco alla prima da titolare. Eccolo qua, bravo in questo replay, finta... Il passaggio è vero, si gioca su un vantaggio, poi va a sfidare le due guardie, sia Tajer che mi sembra Freitas, eccolo là. Ed è bravo a entrare proprio in quel laterale. Zamboni in marca e poi marca anche Pettinelli per un soffio, però vinta. Apleton si va da Portela che si fa stoppare il pallone oh, da Leonardo oh Marin che si riprende dopo l'infortunio sì, sì. della meta di punizione del cartellino giallo risponde così Leonardo Marin alla sesta partita tre da titolare questa è la mestre ed è lenta qua rivediamola la liberazione proprio un po' goffa anche il calcio molto basso e poi qua Marin bravissimo io segno 32esimo tanto sì, so sì, di sì. sbagliare la seconda meta dell'Italia la meta del pareggio in attesa del tentativo di Dare ormai adesso applausi ripeto quando poi eh, le cose vanno bene è difficile ecco Ruzza, ecco Ruzza. Bravo. bel break di Ruzza l'assistenza dov'è bravo Ruzza bravo, fa proprio la differenza quello che si deve fare Qui c'è un placcaggio anche Tutto alto, buono. volendo, eh, Fischetti, bravo, Fischetti, Sottomano, Padovani, oh, che allunga. Là. Oh, adesso con calma sistemiamo le cose. 47, però sistemiamole. Il Padovani, qua il bel Sottomano qua di Fischetti. Fischetti. Poi Padovani. Poi Lucchesi, Padovani e via. Bella. Ruzza bella, presa bene, bella, bella, organizzazione dell'Italia. Oh, con Lucchesi là. che prende il pallone, Lucchesi che deve schiacciare, Lucchesi che schiaccia. 53esimo la Dai. meta dell'Italia con... Sì, guarda, un bel, un bel progetto le pecore nere con intanto rivediamo qua la meta proprio di, le, le, della di Mol tra Nuno Mascaregnas Mol. che è pilone sinistro ma anche tallonatore la Mol dell'Italia Traore va a schiacciare arriva la meta dell'Italia e tutti andiamo si è sentito al 74esimo un sospiro di sollievo fischi fischi tutto regolare eh, sì, 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 qua Rozza ancora sicuro, calma, calma, molta calma, calma passo molta dopo calma. passo, calma, molta calma. calma e questo è un vantaggio. Gliela dà, meta di punizione. Meta di punizione? Sì. No, no, come no? Altro sì, 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 sì. 
Ah sì, ecco. Là. No, vedo che scappavano tutti senza festeggiare. È giallo anche. Eh, certo, se c'è un responsabile, 31 a 38. Allora. Adesso è il momento di fare la differenza alla Fighi. Poi la palla che arriva, sì, a Menoncello. E c'è la meta di Menoncello. Adesso fare la differenza con una giocata che libera bene Allan fino in fondo. Tommaso Allan. Esce Nemer che ha gambe anche il sostegno, finge poi la corsa di Lucchesi all'interno, ben giocata dall'Italia e alla fine Cannone in mezzo ai pali, la terza meta dell'Italia, la meta di Niccolò Cannone. Poi arriva con un grande numero Pier Bruno all'interno per Garbisi, è stato bravissimo Pier Bruno e all'esordio c'è la meta di Alessandro Garbisi. Allan si va da Capuozzo, l'uomo che sa inventare. Bene, Bravo. la palla a Menoncello che ha ricevuto da Zanon. Seconda meta per Tommaso Menoncello. È una bellissima azione con Zanon che può andare comodamente a segnare la sua meta. Cercano di imporsi gli azzurri con Ruzza ancora una volta chiamato Vantaggio. al lavoro Manfredi Albanese la palla che arriva a Nicotera Allora, <laughs> seeing Garbisi trying to open the door for Briggs. Briggs goes through and Italy goes through and over the line for the first try of the game. Great try here set up for Italy. They win the line out. A little bit of a play there with the forwards. And instead of crashing it up there, they put Briggs on a lovely line. So they would get a lot of confidence from that play. There's Brex again. The release is there. Here's Yuri into another opportunity. Varney feeds back. And here is a second try in three minutes. It's Montiovani back in the country. What a play. What an exit, second time they've tried it from deep, this time it comes off. Wonderful interplay by the backs. You smell the whitewash. Ferrari again. Now it's out, Morisi. Advancing. Spin no out of the no clutches. Le Wheeler. The ball is thrown wide. You can't keep him out of the action for long, can you? And the hard work being done by the forwards. The wide vision by Gabrisi. He knows that they want shots defensively. Set! Gianni just behind his fly half. Pierre Bruno to hold a wider right position, but they're spinning left. Three on one, the beautiful play. Nobody's going to stop Ioanni from there. Monte Ioanni with a double. And they're powering through. The only bit of criticism there probably is carrying the ball in the wrong arm. But a strong finish getting the ball down. 
Minoncello comes from the blind side. They peel back to the right hand side, and Lorenzo Canone is going to celebrate his debut with a try. And look at the elation in the Azuri camp at that score. Big win for the Azuri. Artu Leatawa on Nifi. Leah Tinganga uh, also off, yeah. into the Samoan front row. Okay. Time on, please. Okay. Still under advantage for offside. Kanani the older. Way right through there. Well, the man on the mic's enjoying himself. So is everybody else. So is Pierre Bruno. Bruno has a brace. Yoani has okay. two, two. He said he won't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Very patient play there. I think it was there. By the Azuri. 12 phases. Not. Been very impressed with the organization. So close on the attack, their forwards getting into Thank their pods. Too. But it's been the recycle at the breakdown. Good presentation, quick recycle. And eventually the opportunity opens up for Pierre Bruno to collect that. Under pressure, under threat, down a man, of course, for Jake Golden in the sin bin. Move! Oh, the no, no, the younger sets the target. Lucchese comes round to drive. Making some headway, smelling opportunity, yeah, smelling five. success. Skelton all over the ball. Varney feeds it out. The rainbow pass, and it's a try! The try is there. Ferenze celebrates as the Italians make the most of that man advantage. Michele Lamaro, what an inspirational choice he was as captain. Of course, somebody that Kieran Crowley knew well from Benetton. Handling is there, Bricks. And a charge through from Capuzzo. Ange Capuzzo is back in Italian ranks with impact. What a score. Two tries through the yellow card. And the Azuria smiling, young and old. What a try. Look at that attacking setup. Yuani coming off his wing, quick hands. Okay, in and ultimately, it's a three on one. Quick hands there by Monte Yuani. This is where he's so dangerous, ball in hand. What a finish, what a try. Italy flying high. What a discovery Capozzo has been. Compatriots to press a little further. Johan is the man to beat Capuzzo! And once again, the Azuri bank three strikes. Deft handling, superb lines of running. And the players deliver. Lovely ball behind against to Tommaso Allen. Quick hands by Johan. And with a little bit of space. Look at him slice through the defence. Talking kickers, of course. I think play on, Sam. Kicked uh, play a couple on, in on. Paris last weekend. Here comes Missouri Allen, throws out wide to Yuani. Yuani showing great strength wait, and determination. Wait. Now the forwards line up in midfield. Fischetti first to get his mitts on the ball. Advantage. Penalty call. Lamara throws it out. And it's that man, Capozzo! You cannot keep him out of the game. First touch in this test match. And Orange Capozzo is on the scoreboard again for the Azuri. How dangerous is he with that ball in hand? Yeah. Springbok lose the ball. Quick recycle. Ball taken into touch by South Africa. Four, five on two overlap. Lost into touch. Up but is that man Arch Caputo on the little yeah, tap on running it pace on the ball line carving through what remains of this about the South African defense?
Fotso slaloming through Springbok tackles to find his way once again to the try line five times now. Yeah, here, that's fine, Tom. He's done that. Advantage. In the middle of the park, Allen with a little dib over the top. Monte Ioanni goes a hunting. Ioanni gets it from the clutches of LaRue. It's there for Ferrari. Simone Ferrari. Has he got it down? Yes, he has. And Genova comes alive. And they, he was on the, the shoulder of Monte Ioanni. Works his way back onto his feet.